Greetings, followers. This is John DeMocus, half man, half cichlid. I want to take you on a uh, five-year journey uh, with my 200-gallon aquarium. Uh, I love this aquarium. I've had it for going on 30 years. And uh, about five years ago, I decided to take a really a totally different uh, tack moving towards... Uh, uh, fish other than African cichlids and also uh, uh, starting to in, you know, build a living uh, system with uh, aquatic plants. We started out with uh, angelfish and this is my first life plant planting, which is a new BS, and the focus was also on uh, choya wood, a uh, type of driftwood that I collected in uh, Mexico. The next phase was uh, I got a neat piece of, of driftwood from Arizona, and uh, I put in uh, plastic plants. At the time, I thought it looked uh, uh, really neat and was quite of an, an uh, upgrade. The next phase was uh, when I eliminated the plastic plants and went back to floating plants, which was water lettuce and also anubias plants that were attached to uh, a large piece of uh, driftwood. And then uh, we decided to put in more plants. I got them from Aquarium Co-op and to add uh, CO2 to the aquarium. And uh, this, this was about four or so months ago, so you can see, uh, you'll see the progress that we've made in the next slide as uh, the CO2 has now had a chance to uh, to do its uh, miracle to the aquascape uh, for about four months. You can see uh, previously uh, that uh, the plants that were small and the baskets were showing uh, uh, very much. Now they're pretty much uh, hidden. I've also expanded the uh, fish collection to include uh, Australian rainbows to have some uh, color contrast with the geophagus svenai and the plants. So anyway, uh, not sure we go from here other than uh, trimming the tank every uh, couple weeks because it gr grows pretty fast. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.